What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and today is kind of a weird one. So I was actually in the middle of making a ban list prediction video when the actual ban list dropped. So I changed directions so after reading over the ban list I noticed some things were missing that I was kind of hoping for so we're gonna go over those things today. So this is gonna be things that I wish happened on the December 2023 ban list. So before we get into what I wish happened, let's do a quick recap of what actually did happen. And first off, this ban list is absolutely huge, and this is how a ban list should be, okay? It's, it hit everything, everything's getting shook up. This is how a ban list should be, okay? This should be, this should not be the exception, okay? But either way, good job. So. In the band section, we've got Kelbeck and Agito as a tier limit hit. Um, I sold for Simple Spoil Infernoble because they want uh, Simple Spoil Fire King to be the resident fire meta deck. Uh, they also ban Mathmex Circular for some reason. Not exactly sure why. Then we get to the limited section. We've got Orcus Harpoor, Redox, Rescue Ace Airlifter, Unchained Sharvara, Sun Avalon Dryas, and Healer. Uh, Ib World Chalice Justishar is unbanned, as is Snatch Steel. Then we've got the main trio of Floodgates being Gozen, Rivalry, and TC Boo going to one. All right, then for the semi limits, we finally have two Pankra Tops and two Terror Tops. Okay, finally, those probably could have come back a year ago, let's be honest. And as well as Pearly Sleepy Memory going to two. I believe that matches the OCG, if I remember correctly. I might be wrong. And then being completely free is Infernity Archfiend, which probably could have come back over a year ago. Cash Tira Unicorn, which is fine. Arise Hearts Band, so eh, whatever. Uh, Mind Control, Pot of Desires, finally. Uh, Spellbook of Judgment, because that's not really going to do anything. Sprite Starter, Sprites haven't really done that much, so it's fine. As well as Upstart Goblin, which is really interesting. I don't think you'll see that much play, though. So, yeah, this is a huge ban list, but there are some things that I wish had happened on the list, and so that's the main focus of this video, but this this is a good list. I, I am, I'm quite happy with this, for the most part. Alright, so... For the first thing is the cards that I wish got some sort of hit on the list. And this is and as you notice this is a very small section because the list was pretty dang good. The only thing that I wish had gotten banned in addition to what actually got banned was Eradicator Epidemic Virus. And this would of course be a hit to Labyrinth because being able to set it, then activate it that turn. And it's kind of toxic, especially for games 2 and 3 when you bring in things like Lightning Storm for the sideboard. Or even things like Evenly Matched, if they call Trap. So, I, I just don't like the card. I think it's toxic. And especially with Transaction Rollback coming, Labyrinth's going to get another boost in January. So, I was kind of hoping they would ban this. Unfortunately, they did not. So, um... Labyrinth might be tier one this coming format once Maze of Millennia comes out. Maybe. Who knows? Next, uh, for the limited section, I, I would have liked to either see Runic Fountain or Runic Tip. Uh, and this is more of a personal thing rather than a format thing. I just personally do not like Runic at all. And also, uh, Joshua Schmidt did win YCS Bologna with Runic Bestial, so... I think just a very slight slap on the wrist to Runic would have been nice. Either something like putting Runic tip to one or putting Fountain from two to one I think would have been fine. I don't think anything needs to be banned from there, but I do wish that we would have seen some kind of consistency hit. But again, that's just a personal gripe of mine. So now let's get into the things I wish got unbanned on the list. So this is quite a bigger list. And so we're going to go through this quickly. So we've got Tidal, Kieran, Colossus, uh, Supreme Starving Venom, Verte, and Brilliant Fusion. So while you guys take a little bit to absorb all of that, let's go ahead and get into the first one being Tidal, Dragon Ruler of Waterfalls. 
So I think this one could have also come back in addition to Redox because there is an acute lack of water representation in the competitive scene. Master Duel already banned all or unbanned all four Dragon Rulers, and honestly, with how the card's designed, it's just been power crept. Just bring it back. It's not gonna do anything. But it'll probably come back next list. Next is Magispector Unicorn Kirin. So uh, Pendulum hasn't been good in a while. Sorry, Triff. Um, there are plenty of counters to it, such as Dark Ruler, Evenly, Shifter. Shifter hurts Pendulum decks because they don't go to the extra deck. They get banished instead. So Shifter hurts Pendulum decks, as well as other things like Nibiru. And there's also Phantom Nightmare in February that is bringing Magispector support. So I figured it'd be a nice way to drive those sales, but unfortunately that did not happen. Come on, just, just one, come on. Next is probably the most divisive one, and that's Thunder Dragon Colossus. So I was hoping this one would be released because now that Harp Horror is unbanned, and I was gonna put Harp Horror on this, if, if it didn't, I was going to put Harp Horror on it. So, but since Harp Horror did get released, this means that Thunder Dragon Colossus is the only toss format card that's still banned. Sky Striker is almost at full power. Salomon Great's at full power. And Orcus just got Harp Horror back. Why can't we get one Colossus? Come on. And there's plenty of counters to Colossus. We've got Dark Ruler... Imperm, the newly unbanned Snatch Steel, and even things like Ultimate Slayer and Forbidden Droplet, okay? So, I think there's plenty of counters. I think Colossus can come back to one. And then, also, it's kind of been power crept a little bit because a lot of more recent competitive decks, things like Rescue Ace and Labyrinth, they don't search their spells and traps. They set it directly from the deck. So, I think Colossus... or Yeah, I think Colossus can come back or may come back very soon in the future. I hope so. Next, Supreme King Dragon Starving Venom. And honestly, this should have been released last list, in my opinion, to help with the Zark support in Age of Overlord. Uh, if Konami's worried about the Pendulum FDK, just ban Assemble Nightingale instead. Okay, because, like, come on. I don't even think most Lyralisk players summon that thing. And then, I don't even know if Modern Pendulum would play this, because... Most of the modern Pendulum decks I see, they, they kind of go into more link climbing. You know, they'll use, like, Beyond the Pendulum, Exceed the Pendulum, Appaloosa for going first, or uh, Access Code for going second, and then they'll do things like Borload Savage Dragon and Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon for Negates, but would they really play this? I don't think so. I think it, I think it could... I, I think it could come back to one. Next... Brilliant Fusion, okay, so I think Brilliant Fusion would be fine at one because it can't be set with Thrust, and there's plenty of counters such as Ash and Shifter and all that good stuff. It does require Bricks and Extra Deck Space, so I don't really know if people would play it nowadays, you know? I, I, I just don't know. And plus, I play Gem Knights, so I do want one Brilliant Fusion. Come on, just, just, just one, just one. And finally, the last one is Predaplant Verte Anaconda. Now, if you notice, there is an asterisk by the name. And that's because I think this one should come back with an errata. And I know erratas can be quite divisive in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community, but I think that it should be errata to where you can only summon dark dragon or plant monsters with its effect. Which, in my opinion, should have been how it was designed to begin with. And there's plenty of counters to this. Okay, there's Imperm, Valor, Shifter, D-Barrier. Okay, all these things at three. So there's plenty of counters. And if it received that errata, I think it would be harmless. Because what Dark Dragon or Dark Plant Fusion Monster are you really going to be summoning off of Verte? Come on. Be real. So, I mean, the only real thing would be, like, maybe Dragos to Palea, but... Even then, it requires a fusion monster on the field, so then you're in, you're probably in Nibiru range anyway. So, but yeah, that's what I think should have been unbanned, or at least can be unbanned in the future. Let me know what you think down below, and I will see you guys next time.